everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite features that's a part of Android 10. And we'll be bringing it over into Android 9 if you don't have Android 10 just yet. Now in Android 10, I was first accustomed to this with the Google Pixel 4 XL. It was something that I loved. Uh, it was a feature, a part of navigation. So when it goes into navigation, let's say that we go inside of uh, subscriptions. So inside of subscriptions, that means that I went one more past home. And in order for me to go back, because I'm using gestures, I would have to swipe on the side of the screen. Now you can swipe it on the left or also the right hand side. It's just a fast way of going back. Now I love that feature. And there is a way that you're able to do it with your Android 9, and it's through downloading a application. So to kind of show you, you know, what we're doing over here, if you're not using these little navigation buttons, you still have to swipe up to hit on the back button. It's one of those things that's super annoying. But what if I was to show you uh, that, let's say we go inside of YouTube, we go back inside the subscriptions over here, uh, you are able to add this feature in inside of your little Android 9 phone. So what we're gonna do is move Android 10 over and here is Android 9, more than likely the, the Android version that you are using. So the application that you're looking for to get this done is called One Hand Operation Plus. Now there's a couple different ways of being able to download this. I know that you're able to get it inside of GoodLock. You can also go inside of your Galaxy Essentials on the very top, just search for One Hand Plus Operation. Let's see here, One Hand Operation Plus, there it is. So this is where you can also get this one downloaded. It might be in the Play Store as well. Just make sure you find the one that's made by Samsung with this little green icon. So when you actually open up One Hand Operation Plus, I'm gonna show you everything that I have set up for mine because I don't need everything it does. There's so many things you can do on the right handle and the left handle. And you can do things where like, let's say it's going up or down. So you can do a swipe left, you can do a diagonal up and a diagonal down but I don't really need the ups and downs I really only needed it for the swiping going backwards and that's kind of where this one comes into play and you can also set it up to where you want it to work so right here is where my edge panel is you can see that little tab so I don't want it to overlap with my edge panel it's gonna be right here which is really where my thumb is if I'm holding on to the phone um, I'm not going down to get into edge panel I'm just going right here this is where you're able to hit on that little back button and then you're able to kind of customize it so let me show you pretty much everything that i have set up so far so with this one i have the left handle turned off i don't need to go on the left side i am right handed uh, it just makes sense to put it on only one end now again inside of here for the right handle uh, for swiping of left i just have it set up for the back key now once that one is set up uh, the other two i have turned off i don't need to accidentally go diagonal up or go diagonal down you can make it do many things you also have a long swipe. Again, I don't need the long swipe. I'm just really trying to go back and that's it. When it goes down to aligning of the handles, uh, this is where you can change the size and everything else. So as I go through here, um, you can see that it's getting larger and I don't need it again to overlap that edge panel. So we're gonna put it again right around there. That was where we were pretty much from the before. Position it, you can also position it too. So if you want it to go lower, you can also make it go lower. Again, I don't want it to overlap anything. So we're gonna put it right there. Uh, transparency, so I have my transparency as high. I don't wanna see this little bar. So this is normally, a lot of times when it comes down to transparency, you always want it to be pretty low. I mean, you, you wanna be able to see what you're looking for. So transparency, you don't want it to be that transparent. When it comes to this one though, you do want it to be transparent. You don't want to see this big block on the side of your screen. So anytime that you swipe back right there, it's going to be able to take you on back. So again, let's go right back inside. Uh, underneath the advanced features, uh, this is where you can go through and you can change the animation of what it looks like and things like that. And really that's all you need to do. So this one is uh, the curved line. You can also use a regular arrow. If you want it to have a small arrow, let's go back into advanced right over here, arrow two. If you wanna see what arrow two looks like, it's a little bit larger of an arrow. Uh, and then you got the curved line. So the curved line, this is the one that I love. It's a, it's a little bubble kind of line looking thing. Uh, you can go inside of your settings, you can change the color. So I like the color red. Uh, if you want it to be blue, you can also make it look blue. And so now when I go on back, it's gonna look blue like that. So you can have it whatever color. So really how mine is set up, very basic. I only want it to work to go back. And really, I don't need it on the left side. So this is off, this is turned on. The only thing that's turned on is gonna be going back. These two are set to none, no long swipe. 
Uh, you can set this up kind of how you want it to be set up right there. Advanced features, I would say go through which arrow you want, and that's really going to be about it. And so now anytime that you're inside of an application, just swipe back like this. It's much easier than going down where that little arrow is. Now, if you've never used a phone that has your back on this side, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you would really have to actually use this feature or get used to this feature because my Galaxy Note 10 Plus has it now. Uh, the Google Pixel 4 XL has it. And when I go back, I, no matter what application I'm in, again, let's say we're inside YouTube, every time I hit back, that's what I do. I don't go down to hit that little arrow. Uh, and then when you get into a phone like this one here that does not have that feature, you want it to be back on. And that's what this purpose of the video is, is letting you know you can have my favorite feature from Android 10 on your Android 9. Now, why is this my favorite feature? The favorite feature is because you use it hundreds of times a day. Think of how many times you hit your back button and no matter what number you think of, double it because you hit back more than you think. But that's pretty much about it. Just make sure you guys go inside of the uh, Galaxy Essentials, search for the One Hand Operation Plus, turn it on for right or left handed, really only if you want, use it for the back icon, that's how I use it. Change your color, change your arrow, and you're good to go and you have one of the coolest uh, simple things from Android 10 on your Android 9 and you're good to go, ready to go for that update. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. If you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.